we're headed out to uh, go to Paris uh, to meet David and everybody. We're going to Europe. Time. And I've been seeing their Snapchats, and it looks like they're spending a lot of money. Oh, my God. Oh, they're paying for us, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> There's, like, dinners, really nice hotels. They're renting boats. Rented boats. What yeah. The fuck, man. Dinners on, dinners on boat. So, yeah, so, I don't know. That wasn't really funny, but I'm just very concerned. Is this trip going to put you in the red? Oh, yeah. He's already in the red. I'm already in the red. <laughs> Live in a firehouse. <laughs> Todd's got the nice lens, man. Damn. Joe, tell them what we're doing. Here, use Todd's book as a... Uh, oh, nice. I usually use it as like a paperweight. I use it as toilet paper. Joe, <laughs> the man poured his heart into that. Yeah, that How could you say God. that? What, yeah, what, what book have you written? It was a goop. It was a Where's goop. your book? I haven't written a book. Do you know the heartbreak I went through? The entire book's about Corinna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's, it's sensitive stuff, man. You're just gonna fucking put it down? Wow. You know how painful it was for you when they broke up? <laughs> Corinna's a great person, obviously. <laughs> It doesn't mean that Todd wasn't broken up and heard about it. Read this chapter about when uh, Todd wanted to go to Coachella and Corinna didn't want to go. <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Sunday morning. Sunday morning, Coachella. My fingers are cold. I lay there as she just weeps. I yell, Corinna, why can't we go hang out with our friends? She says, I'm not in the mood. We have sex. Wow. I like how raw it is. <laughs> What are you guys expecting to see when you go to Paris? Paris? I'll be honest, it's the da it's the damn same thing here. <laughs> yeah. They got food here, they got food there. Right. I hate to be that person, but eh, try, whatever. I'm going for, you know, just the cold show. I want to go see Versailles. Well, you're a lot more open-minded than Norm Paris. Normandy. They say Paris is the city of love. Do they? Yep. Well, I just told Natalie, don't get Eiffel Tower until I get there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we are, Tom Bradley International Terminal. <laughs> with Taylor and Jason. This is Whoa. like the part of the vlog where all the good stuff is about to happen. Yeah, it's about to happen. What are we going to do over there, Todd? What's uh, your plan? We're going to do pizza reviews, five guy reviews, okay. bread reviews, coffee. We made it to Paris. Uh, we found David. We found Natalie. Hi, Nat. Jason and Taylor are checking in. And, and that's it. I wrote my finger. Look at that. Yeah, this guy Oh, wow. Drunk. Wait, you, oh, wait, is Cinder actually? You that again? Here's your clickbait. I got really badly burnt. Perfect, thanks you. Oh. Okay, close your eyes. You got a surprise. We have a balcony. Whoa, Eiffel Tower. Wyatt was trying to ask me to describe Paris. <clears throat> I said, it's, it's kind of like New York, but cleaner. Yeah. It's probably the most optimal city I've been in. It has everything, and it's clean, and it's everything. clean. There's a lot of history here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead. Tell us some of it. Yeah, yeah I will later. <laughs> hey! Yo, bro. What's, What's up, up dude? How you doing? Oh, wow. My lighting is... There we go. Okay, today... Here we are at the Eiffel Tower. We just got here and a man's doing tricks over here and I don't know if I can show you. Hey man, have you ever seen anything as beautiful as the Eiffel Tower besides Natalie? Alright, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, she's pretty. I get it, I get it. You're in love. You can't see what am I supposed to say, man? Oh, don't check out her ass. You can kind of see her underwear through her, through her pants. <laughs> should I say something or should keep, you say keep, something? Keep <laughs> Alrighty. At the Eiffel Tower, and the lighting is is pretty insane right now. I'm with Jason, Nash, Taylor, Natalie, David, John, Alex, and Lydia. Right now, they're, they're watching they're watching this guy play a game over there, but they wouldn't let us film. It's three cups and one ball, and you have to guess. And you can win some cash, right? Look at it. Oh, he's it over. Oh, he's gonna break it up. Oh, looks like they got in trouble, huh? Uh oh. Yeah. Oh shit! Wow, look at this. this is nice, huh? Oh wow! wow. Wait now. This bus to go. Damn, that is really good, Todd. Yo, let's see love birds. Yeah. Matt, get a nice thumbnail for Todd. Come on. We're just talking about your, your see-through pants. We were not talking about it. <laughs> you were mentioning that you could see Natalie's underwear, and you caught me on camera and asked me on camera <laughs> what I thought about it. Jesus. And I said, I said, leave me out of it. Why would you even think about it? Because I wasn't. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Nothing at all. Woo -hoo. Do it again, Matt. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Nothing at all. 
<laughs> All right, I just got this killer new shirt with Mona Lisa dabbing um, at the Eiffel Tower. And now I'm meeting up with uh, Jason, John, Ilya, and Alex. The cool thing about Jason is he'll wait for you no matter where you go. If you get lost, separated, Jason's gonna wait for you. Oh, all right, we are underneath the Eiffel Tower. Check out the view from underneath here. Let's go. Right, apparently we're taking the stairs all the way up the Eiffel Tower. Oh my. 15 minutes to the second floor. God. Holy fuck. Yeah, come on. Use those, John? Use those caps. I was too fucked up last night. Forget you're doing it. This is sick. First floor view right here. Yeah, John. All right, we are ascending for the second time to the top floor. Look at John, double stepping it. Got those big calves, man. Big calves, John. Yeah, help him with something. God damn. That's humans. I mean, Natalie's not up here, but at least you're up here. I'm not making out with you, dude. <laughs> oh, thank God. No stairs to the top? Thank God. Ilya did it. Nobody thought Ilya could do it. He climbed up here. Jason's camera died. He's vlogging with his phone. It's all right. Look at this view. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. It's really something. Probably did it. Cheers. From Paris with love or midnight in Paris. In Paris with love. What's up, guys? So right now, we're at the I'm world famous number one crepe stand in all of France. Wait, seriously? Yeah, this is it. Okay, so John, Alex, and Ilya are ordering crepes. Where did Jason go? Oh fuck. I think we lost the old man. Are you pulling a prank on him? <laughs> <laughs> Bottle of wine? Yeah. There we go. Sauvignon Blanc. John, how'd you stay for Amsterdam? One, one through five. I can't, no. Ready? <laughs> one. Come on, John. One. Hey, really? one. I seriously can't. John, come on, do My it. My job would be on the fucking line. I'll pay you. <laughs> it's so rude that you guys do that to us. It's so mean. <laughs> John, if it was just me and you, I'd be like, John, you better get back. <laughs> but it's so rude that they all gang up on you. And do that. I know. So rude. I mean, I'm happy that they, I got a free first class ticket here. Yeah. Continental breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is so much chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate's an average this year. No. Don't worry. I had, a, I had two fucking crepes. <laughs> this is my fucking third dessert of the night. It's only been an hour. If it makes you feel better, this is my second. Within two minutes. Really? I had my crepe and Natalie's crepe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. You look good? Man, honestly, I felt bad for Natalie because you look so good. Thank you. <laughs> John, how hard is it for you to be next to Todd? Because he's so good looking. Honestly, it's pretty insane how far <laughs> genetics can push you back, man. Honestly, this is not fair. <laughs> back to you, Chet. This is the end of the night. God, there's no way we just did Paris like that. We, we, we flew in today, and we had a long day, and now we're calling it. No, no. Hey, yo, hey, yo. Good morning from Paris. It's three. Check out the balcony, we got a balcony. Check out this balcony, well this is a crazy balcony. All right, three o'clock in Paris, we woke up a little late. We didn't go to bed till, we didn't go to bed till five. All right, we are going to the opera, and they would not let David in because of his big ass. I look, I look tired. Wow. Jason and I were here at the opera house, and Jason doesn't really get opera. No, I don't understand it. Like, how do you understand? It's a play, right? Like, it's a story. It's a story you have to interpret it. And I think everyone interprets it different. You know, like, maybe maybe you're, like, thinking in your head, as we're singing, mask off. What time? <laughs> Fuck a mask off. You know, it's a little different than the opera. Yeah, you're not going to hear future at an opera house. <laughs> when I'm sitting at an opera, I'm thinking, when can I go home? Wow. Idiot, but check this out. So cool. Okay, now we're going to the actual opera house. Oh my goodness. Wow. What? Wow, what do you think? Wow, it really is something. Wow. 
Oh, wow. You know, you've seen one opera house, you've seen them all. That's what I always say. <laughs> well, that's David. David Dobre? The David opera? Dobre. Wow. Queen of Geneva. I'm following Natalie around, she's shopping, I just got cut off, oh boy. Now she's picking out some new shirts. We are in Zara, Paris. That is all. My, but we're back here, it's way for Natalie to try on her clothes. And I'm up here all alone, but it's okay. It's time to get up. We have a boat to catch. Are you coming with us on the boat? No? This was your idea. You gotta look really silly in bed while we're all on the boat. Mm hmm So we're gonna wake you up with a nice wet kiss. A big slobbery slippery one. That's fucked up. Pills, huh? Oh, we gotta take you to rehab. Jason. Todd, you look great, you? man. Hey, man. Your big ass is blocking my shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, somebody asked me to uh, oh. sell feet pics today. Oh yeah? On Snapchat. So you totally I'm should. Pretty excited. Why don't you make like an OnlyFans and sell feet pics? Hey, you know Scott made an OnlyFans account and didn't promote it and he has like 50 subs on it right now? He's got any content up there though? He posted a photo of me and him in the, in the gym, in the mirror. We weren't naked though. How much? How much for that photo? I think $5.99. For one photo? Yeah. But people were subbing to him without like, him promoting it. Did anyone buy the photo? Yeah. Is he going to give you half? I hope so. <laughs> Alrighty, we made it. That is, that's Jason Nash over there, blogging away. David and Natalie. We're going to the boat with no hose and no wine. And hopefully everyone can swim. Hey, you got to watch out for the sharks. Yeah, all, all the sharks in Paris. Do you have sharks in Paris? Yeah, there's sharks here. There's yeah, sharks in Paris. There are lake sharks. Lake sharks. What has been your biggest inspiration for travel? Um, most of the whorehouses. <laughs> we are on a boat. On a boat. To the yellow submarine. We are on a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. A little waker. Dave's taking a picture of Taylor. Very oh, good. Oh, lighting on Taylor is really good. Okay. Whoa, Dave's a professional yeah, photographer. This is a chance for you to like really show your prowess in front of Natalie, but. Huh? You think I should? Yeah. Well, let me see how big of a jump it is. Okay. Todd's about to do the impossible. Don't lose a leg. On the dock, right? Remember what happened at Shark Week? This is a very high stress situation. What man will step up to the plate? <laughs> there he goes. Big, strong Todd. David the one and only. David might do it too. There's that giant ass. Putting it to good work. There's that giant ass. Oh! Pretty smooth. Honestly, 10 out of 10 so far. <laughs> Pretty smooth. Gotta get the rope. 10 out of 10 so far, I agree. You save Natalie first. I see where I fit in this whole thing. Okay, next. You can only save me or David. Who do you who do you take? There we go. Bye, Dave. <laughs> hey, Sorry, man. Hey, did a review, Jason. How was it? Um, it was really great. The best meal that I've had in Paris. This place is number one. I love 
Chef Paul. Uh, no, we'll cut you off. David, was it good? Oh, he's not alive. Jason, back to you. That was a, that was a Scott move. That was a Scott that vlog awesome. move. <laughs> You're boring? Let me film David. Or he'll, or you, he'd be filming you and David would walk in the room. And then he'd be like, never mind, uh, David's way more important than you. 